Hey guys, hello everyone. So I'm making this video during the lunch time because I don't want any one of you to challenge this question. This is actually a current. Uh, this is actually a correct question over here. Um, so a lot of of you, I would say the majority of you guys were asking about this particular question, right? That uh, this might be challengeable. How this answer is coming forty thousand? Because if you look upon the official answer key, so a lot many of you were asking that how this answer is going to be forty thousand. So if you look upon the official answer key, the official answer key suggests that the answer for this particular question is uh, option ID three one eight one, which is option number one, right? That is what is the correct option given to you, and that is exactly the correct answer for this. many of you did it wrong i think the calculation you guys did it wrong and that's why you are getting some other option i don't know which option you guys were getting i think many of you were not even getting any option from the given options right that's what was happening so uh, i just want to make this very clear because i don't want any one of you to challenge this particular question and one very wise advice to all of you that please don't challenge any question where calculation is involved as of until and unless the calculation is cleared up okay so any question where calculation is involved there are very less chances that that question is going to be incorrect question can be incorrect or question can be challenged based upon uh, if it is fact based or if it is formula based or if it is something related to some equation or in organic chemistry if you say so related to some reaction mechanism or in um, in inorganic chemistry if you are looking upon so it might be something related to if you get a direct reference of that from some book then only challenge that question okay all right so uh, let's understand how to do this question so the question says that a sample of polystyrene is composed of three weight fractions 0.2 0.5 and 0.3 the molecular weight of these fractions are given to you as 10000 40000 and 60000 respectively the weight average molecular mass was being asked So if you calculate the if you know the formula of weight average molecular mass so that is your mw and that is calculated as sigma uh, ni mi square divided by sigma ni mi right that's the formula to calculate it but if you if you are going to use this formula putting these as the value of ni and the values of masses as these you are not going to get the correct answer you need to understand that here they are asking about the weight fraction okay so weight fraction has a particular formula of itself weight fraction is calculated as uh, ni mi divided by mn or you can say ni mi divided by um, yeah so mn is nothing but uh, sigma okay or you can write down the same formula as ni mi divided by sigma ni mi right so this is how you can write down weight fraction and weight fraction is denoted as let's say wi right so you can get the formula of uh, mol, uh, like um, average molecular weight or weight average molecular weight as this okay so the formula which you are going to get in the terms of weight fraction if you just replace because see the numerator is going to become uh, somewhere like n1 m1 square divided by sigma n1 sigma ni mi right and plus it will be n2 m2 square divided by sigma ni mi uh, plus n3 m3 square divided by sigma ni mi now here if you take n1 m1 divided by sigma m ni mi that is going to become w1 okay so that will be like w1 and m1 will be remaining because ni mi 1 m 1 n and 1 m are being used here in order to get your w and your m will remain like that okay plus this will be w2 m2 plus w3 m that's all this is going to be the formula so basically the reduced form of your uh, of your weight average molecular mass that is mw in terms of your weight fraction will be like wi mi and sigma okay this is one more formula this is the formula which you are going to use to solve this question right so that is where you are going to get put the values weight fractions are given to you these are 0.20 multiplied by the mass of the first fragment that is 10000 plus weight of the second fragment that is 0.5 multiplied by 40000 right and plus 0.3 multiplied by 60000 on solving this here you are going to get 2000 here you are going to get 20000 right 
and uh, here when you multiply so this is going to become 18,000. So, 18 plus 2 is 20 and plus 20 is 40. So, that is going to give you 40,000 as the correct answer which is your option number 1. So, this is totally correct question. There is nothing wrong in this question. Okay. So, please do not challenge this question. This is totally correct question and this does not require any challenge as of now. So, this is about this question. There were some more questions and there are some more observations which you guys are giving that this is wrong, that is wrong. Uh, give me some time because I also have to come back and I have to solve everything and I have to understand everything. But this one is totally correct. Uh, there is nothing wrong in it. As of now, I didn't found any wrong answer key, uh, uh, any wrong answer in the answer key as of now. Okay. I'll keep on checking. Give me some time. Maybe at the night time, I'll upload a dedicated video like including all your different other observations as well. Okay. So, please be patient for some time. Uh, don't be in a hurry to challenge it. You will lose your 200 rupees. So, that's it for this video. I just wanted to make it quick so that all of you understand it and I hope this makes clear to all of you that the answer is ex exactly correct in the answer key. So, I'll see you guys in the next one till then. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.